what needs to, to, I think there's a lot of awareness that needs to be revamped. Um, and I, 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 awareness is not a one-time event. I did mention that uh, everybody knows whenever those of us are in this generation know very well that Coca-Cola has always been advertising year in, year out. And yet everybody takes for granted the drink is there, but they've never. We need to repeat this message time and again. In terms of leadership, we need to convince the converted water experts to jump out of the box. That water, yes, knows no boundary. It's a factor which is cross-cutting, touches different sectors. But we need to understand that the major decision of water, even the climate change, is not done by the water experts. Others that control finances, strategies, and policies are the ones that needs to be converted towards that. And we need, it's not calling them in, but we have to go out there. So we must be a little more proactive and accept the reality is that water is important, but it doesn't have teeth to bite. We need to move out and go and see where the teeth are so that we can influence where the biting should be done. I think one of the things that needs to, um, to be brought to the attention of those that are studying here is that for you to jump out of the boat, the water box, you must have empathy. It, it may not be academic, but it's a natural feeling that you must have a feel of what that other person feels. Empathy is fundamental. Secondly, it's important to take chances and be brave to take on board. You may see that uh, I have been a little bit fortunate. I'm always the first. Every time I see it, even when I was told you are the first, I said, wow, this qualifies. I mean, if you talk about GWP, I was one of the first people to be part of the Southern Africa Technical Advisory Committee, through which lessons were drawn on how to set up a global water partnership. So in Southern Africa, we led that, and I was lucky to be. I was the first to develop, to help develop the regional strategic action plan. I was the first to set up the Africa Water Forum and six Sciences. I've been first uh, again being the founding executive secretary of the Great River Zambezi. So the first aspect is not just a question of luck, is you need to be proactive and grasp the opportunity as it comes. So it may it could not be a coincidence that I'm the first and the first. I'm also just been I talked about the scenarios focus group that have just been incorporated on to look at the various scenarios of the water usage globally and uh, projections of what it can be in future. And this is the meeting that we may be meeting, we may be having in uh, Paris in the first week of November. So for you to be the first, you need to be proactive, to be in a proactive mode to move on. Secondly, be as practical as possible as the Institute is. Hanging up in, in theory without translating into real life on the ground, it won't work. But secondly, negotiation skills are crucial. You should know what to say in country A that may be may that may not be the same in country B. You should value the people of what they are, what their belief is. When you go to any place, you should know life exists with or without you. What you are going there is to learn where they are and add a little bit of value to that. Not to, to persuade them to stop what they are doing now. So you need to understand through diplomatic skills that you develop and understand the point where the target group is. And finally, the client is usually the same. It's the local people. Whatever you do, whatever PhD you do, the final person to do the implementation is the one at the forefront of the ground. You need to pay attention to that. And that's why awareness building is fundamental. Mm -hmm. Build the awareness where it is necessary before they can give you feedback. I've drawn one thing as a lessons working with the countries and people on the ground. If they don't talk, 
when you speak and everything else, questions they don't answer, you are in trouble. If they insult you, if you are lucky, thumbs up. That means they are accommodating you, what you have said. But to accommodate anything in is not just as easy as that. They will ask questions, and the more questions they ask, some of them can be a little bit you know, out of expression, but if they are out of expression, you're lucky, because they are giving you a free gift to tell you, yes, we heard what you said, but we'd rather it goes this way. So normally when you produce something that is going to be implemented on the ground, we don't call it like if the terms of reference, we don't, oh, we've come with terms of reference from boom, here. No, no, no. It's the same document, but call it guidelines. And when you give to them, give them chance to interact without you being there. Because they might even criticize you. So if you are there, they won't criticize you. So, they don't. so leave them chance and room and space. When they come, they'll just say, oh, excuse me, we saw your terms of reference. Here they are okay. But the full stop should not have been at the end. It should have been in the middle. They have accepted it. That's it. Just move back to full stop. Whether it makes sense to there, that document is no longer yours. It's theirs. But just to come, I'm an expert. I'm from UNESCO IHC with the four degrees. I'm going to tell you how you should adapt here. My grandfather has lived 120 years. Who are you to come and tell me that? I can live the way I can. So those are kind of facets I'm trying to be realistic on the ground. Is that the research that we need is we need to promote what uh, the belief of IHG, well, UNESCO IHG has, it has to be adaptive, demand-driven, and appropriate. Sure. Um, the brief uh, message that I have with them Be ambitious, because with that ambition, you won't get anywhere. Think big, but act in stages. Anything that you want is possible. Only thing that the long, the long journey has got different steps. But open up and ask. That shall ask, that shall be given. And asking can be physical, can be spiritual, can be anything. The internet itself is a good place to ask and get your answers if you can't ask anybody else. So they must be must have this fear of belonging that they need to recognize that the future that the presence that we have, we have borrowed it from our children of the future. And you have to make a difference now for the betterment of, of the future. So whatever collective efforts that we have now. Is because we want to address a better future than what we found. We praise our forefathers for having done the bit that they could to, for us to enjoy what we can. We should also think of what should be done in future. And the contribution at this point is through a wise development and efficient management of water resources. Thank you.